This is Joe Rogan, and you're watching True MMA. Welcome to another action-packed episode of the True MMA Show. On this episode, we have MMA money-saving tips, barbershop talk, online fan challenge, and MMA gourmet cooking. <laughs> UFC fighters can be tough, but the economy can be even tougher. On this episode of MMA Money Saving Tips, we meet up with Filthy Tom Lawler and do some clothes shopping. So I plan to go to Goodwill or Salvation Army and pick up a nice, uh, nice suit. But uh, you know, I woke up a little bit late this morning. Uh, I had a little bit too much to drink last night. I, I do this a lot. I have like 20 probably suits from Goodwill. Yeah, I'm Filthy Tom Lawler. I've got to go there looking my filthiest. This is obviously is where we have the class of the operation right here. This one's nine dollars. That's really classy. I don't know if Fighters Only is prepared for homeless only. Some sort of like a semen stand on this. I mean, there's a lot of money on the line on this suit. Yeah, that one. This one? This one dollar. What is? How much is the time? One dollar. One dollar. Each. We do know how much it is, regardless if we know nothing else. Gonna chase down how I feel, gonna paint it on my wall so I remember. Didn't know, didn't know, I would ever see you go. Fade away, fade away, fade away. I left my footprints on your doorstep. You've gotta keep those kids in line. guys that just bought uh, nice tuxedos for this event are Thank you. checking your bank account. We'll go ahead and take a look at mine. All me, all class, all day. $9.25. $925. You can't beat that, you really can't. The sad part is I have to charge this uh, because I can't pay for it right now. There was a lot of great fights this past week. UFC 124 and WEC 53. Every time I go to the barbershop, it seems like they only want to talk about one thing, MMA. Actually, I didn't see the last card because I don't think GSP ever finishes fights. They gotta come out with the hits, you know, like with good cards. I'm gonna wait for uh, Belfort and uh, Silva and then also BJ Penn and John Fitch. I'm waiting for like those type of fights. GSP, he's just as athletic and he's a better wrestler in MMA. He has better striking. He's more well-rounded and technical. So I really wasn't shocked at all that he was able to take each round. Yeah, I saw Kostik's eye. That was pretty bad. I actually thought they might stop it after the third round when it was starting to slow up. And the 135 title yeah. fight with Valerie Cruz and Scott Jorgensen. What do you think about that? Jorgensen is so athletic, full of heart, great wrestler. But Dominic Cruz is also an incredible wrestler. He's got insane footwork, great stand-up ability. And his camp says he could be a pro in any aspect of fighting. He could be a professional boxer, kickboxer, wrestler. When Cruz won last night, they gave him the UFC belt for the 135 division because uh, the WC that was their final yeah. event. They're now going to merge the UFC. Yeah, usually mine is uh, 
the shots at the you bar. <laughs> Anthony <laughs> Showtime Pettis With jumped off of the cage the and then in midair did a roundhouse kick to the other guy's yeah. head and dropped him to Henderson's head. I was like, uh, um, it was an incredible five round right, fight. Enough, enough. A lot really of endurance, a lot of cardio, great <laughs> striking, great wrestling on both sides. It was a really close fight. But uh, Pettis was able to take the title. He's a new 155 champion. So he's going to be the first line to fight the winner, Gray Maynard, and Frankie Edgar for the 155 UFC title. When they two me go. So who do you think they should have coached the next season, the ultimate fighter? What do you think about leaving against Vanderbilt Silva? Oh, I think that'd be great. Those I like both of those guys because they both bring it every time. Like, that's what I like. They might lose once in a while, but you know they're going all out. He's no Ariel Helwani, but he's got a great head of hair. On this episode of True MMA Online Fan Challenge, I take on Frankie Fast Hands Page. My name is Frankie Page. I live in St. Louis, Missouri, and I train at Andre's MMA Academy. I train with Daryl Cobb and Jermaine Andre and all the youth students. When I grow up, I want to be in the UFC or Strike Force. I'm training for my first fight in January. Today, I'm taking on Aaron True, MMA reporter. I've seen your videos online. Your hands are incredibly fast. I'm taking you on today. You think you're going to beat me? Yes, definitely. Well, after I beat you, are you going to look in the camera and admit that Aaron True has the fastest hands in St. Louis? If you beat me, yes, I will. <laughs> but Yes, slow chains. We're going 20 seconds each, toe to toe. Who's got the fastest hand? Today we're in St. Louis for the Fast Hands Challenge. Aaron True versus Frankie Jr. We've got a couple of judges here. We're gonna take into account every time we hit the bag, one punch counts as one point. I think I got this. I hate losing to kids. I've lost to the Rufer Brothers. I've lost to the Hawaiian Assassin. I've lost to Kamani McCready. Every time I wind up with a bloody nose and losing, today is my day. Three. Two, one, go. I'm gas. I'm hurting. I got uh, 76. 76? 76. Do you hear that? I have a chance. This could be my day. Three. Three, two, one, countdown. Two, one. So you somehow beat me by 60 punches in 20 seconds. That means you average three more punches per second than me. How are you feeling after 20 seconds on the bag? Well, this is tough. I mean, 20 seconds. It's the longest 20 seconds of your life when you're just straight throwing your hands. I'm gas bad. Do you think my performance was okay, or how did I do today? It was okay. It was 76. It's, it's, it's a pretty good one. Not a lot of people can do 76. Do you guys have like a maybe, you know, a bucket or a trash bag or somewhere I can go throw up? In the bathroom. Don't take it outside. <laughs> He's still for in person. After I did the contest, he did better than I expected. If you want to participate in the True MMA Show online fan challenge, you can reach us at truemmashow at gmail.com. As Aaron's personal chef, you know, I only try to give him the cleanest of clean eating. He was getting sick of getting picked on, you know, by everybody online saying he had bitch tits, blubber gut. I don't know who else does what he does. I really don't. Maybe Katie Couric. Well, we hunted the pigeons a few minutes ago, and now it's pigeon meat, really. Find me somebody that makes a pigeon look like that, and I will retire tomorrow. Is $1,100 a day a lot of money? To you, for this? Hang on, there's a feather. Anderson Silva, Chuck Liddell, Manny Pacquiao, Mike Tyson in his heyday, Tito Ortiz, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Sylvester Stallone for big movies. Aoki, Overeem, they're all eating pigeon meat. So it turns out that the pigeon meat was a little tough. It happens. Tough luck. Thanks for watching this episode of The True MMA Show. Happy holidays, everyone.